Hey creators, Jake Barras here, and today we're gonna to be looking at how to up your live streams. Make them look a little bit more professional, give them that little unique spin by utilizing the filter option image blend. Now before we do, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, and if this video is something that you really like and you wanna see more, give it a big old thumbs up for me. You can also find other great content across my social media, so make sure you're following me on there. Not to mention, I'm live streaming on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday as well, so be sure to check it out. So how do we get your live streams looking that much better? Well, like I said, we're utilizing the filter option in something like OBS called Image Blend. So to lay it out really simply, this effect is kind of like a green screen. We're gonna take away the background and also insert something into the foreground as well. That's gonna make a lot more sense when we dive into Photoshop in just a second. But before we do, I just wanted to say you can absolutely use anything you want. It doesn't have to be something paid like Photoshop. It can be something for free like Canva. Essentially, you just want a piece of software that's gonna allow you to put two layers on top of each other or one shape on top of another shape. Let's jump in and have a look. So here we are in Photoshop. There's two key colors to remember here, black and white. The software is gonna remove your black and it's going to put, replace the white with whatever you want in there, say like our camera. And in the end, what it's gonna do is give you something like where my camera is sitting right now. So instead of just a plain rectangle, I've got this like rounded rectangle happening here. So super simply to get started, what I'd recommend is taking a screenshot of your full screen setup. I've gone ahead and done this right here, so we can turn that on. Here we are, looking very happy there. <laughs> and we do that just so we can line up exactly where we are positioned on the camera. So I'm a little bit off center here. So we just wanna make sure that our white object covers basically where I'm sitting, instead of making it dead center. And this obviously all depends on where your camera is positioned. At the end of the day, we just wanna make sure that our white object is covering us. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make another rounded shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this rounded layer. And for my width, I'm gonna go a four by four uh, ratio here. So I'm gonna go 1080 by 1350. Now you can also muck around with this radius depending on what shape again that you want. I might make this one a little bit more rounded. So let's go 120 for everything. And here's our shape. So I'm gonna quickly change these so it's a wide fill. Once again, we wanna make sure the color is white because that's what we want the program to replace. And I'm just gonna bring it down so it fits nicely here. Let's bring that opacity down so we know exactly where we're covering. There we go. And we're just gonna go ahead and position this just right. So when I'm sitting here looking at the computer, I probably wanna sit about there. I think naturally I'm gonna sit about there. So I think that's a good position right there. So we're gonna leave it. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna turn that opacity back up so it's a full white object. I'm gonna turn off my camera here. And this is what we wanna be left with. So our program, it's going to remove the black and it's going to replace the white with our camera instead. Let's quickly save this. And then all we need to do is jump into OBS. Okay, so here we are in OBS. Now this is super simple. All we need to do is create a scene with a video source and then add that image blend filter to the video source. So let's go ahead and create a new scene. We're gonna come down and click this plus button and I'm just gonna call this image blend scene. So here we are in the new scene. We're gonna add over in our sources, our video source, our webcam or our camera, and then go ahead and add the filter on top. Now, you don't have to do this, but I always like to do this with my video sources. I always create nested scenes in the scenes folder. I do that mainly so we can split the original and we're not affecting the original source. If that sounds way too complicated, it's as simple as just make a scene with your camera source, like I've done here with webcam flip. So this scene right here is just my camera source. And what I'm gonna do is in my image blend scene, I'm going to add a copy of this source. So to do that, I'm gonna come down into my source panel here now that we're in the image blend scene, click the plus button, and I'm actually gonna choose source mirror. Now what source mirror allows us to do is add effects like our image blend without affecting the original source file. And that really comes into play if you're gonna have multiple scenes using the same camera source. I'm gonna call this image blend mirror. So all I'm gonna do is now choose my original camera source, which is my Canon webcam scene. 
And here we are. So now we have a copy of our camera source that we can throw all kinds of effects on and not affect the original. And from here, it's super simple. We just need to right click our camera source, filters, and in our effects filter, we want to find image mask slash blend. And it gets even simpler from here. We just leave the settings exactly where they are and click that browse button. We find that JPEG we just created in Photoshop or Canva or wherever you've done it and we close it. And here we are. I've got my rounded rectangle looking great and now we can go ahead and do what we need to for our scene. So I can crop this in, drag it where I want and go ahead and add in something like our display capture. And there we are, something looking absolutely fantastic. So yeah, sure, we could have that you know, pointy edge rectangle and it looks fine. It doesn't look bad, it still looks great. But putting in that filter just gives us that little something extra. So here's a great example of image mask and blend being utilized in a full scene. This is the scene that I utilize on Twitch when chatting to my community. And as you can see, the image blend works really well in a scene like this. I'll go ahead and turn this off. And this is what it looks without it. Again, it looks fine, but at the same time, adding in that image blend filter just makes it look just that bit better. I just, it just looks better, right? It just looks good. I think at the end of the day, it's adding small details like this that's going to set your live stream apart. So I hope this video has been super helpful for you and helps you level up your content as well. To help you guys get started though, I have created some free image blend shapes that you can download via the description. What you can also do if you are a creator, if you're a live streamer, a YouTuber, you make social content, you can actually go ahead and join my Discord. It's a place full of like-minded creators like yourself and not only can you connect with them, but it's also where you can download freebies like these image blend shapes and a whole lot more. So make sure you follow the link, join the Discord and download your free image blend shapes. Anyway creators, that is everything I have for you today. Once again, I hope this has been useful for you. If it has, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have fun creating.